back to the pet psychic. Oh, sugar, sugar. Mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I picked up on, do you have a sister? And you said, Uh huh. You do. So yes, I might have Um, when she has brown hair or what? Yes, one of them does. And her hair, oh, well, don't tell me. Okay. Do you have an older sister? Mm hmm. Is that the one that wears her hair in a ponytail like this up high? Mm hmm. She does that? Yes. And, um, um, she's, well, she's like the same size as you, kind of a little bit shorter. One of them is not the older sister. Well, then fine. Fuck it all about Tom. <laughs> okay, well, does one of them have black hair now? And she has glasses? Mm hmm. That's the older sister. And she has black hair, and, mm -hmm. and she wears it down, and she has her glasses, and she wears it to the side, she has glasses. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing. And the other one looks little too, but uh, I can't tell. But at least I've seen that. And um, Yes. But she's, she acts more younger than the other one. The other one's under construction, or the one with the ponytail, or she's... Yes, yeah, that, that's a good way to put it. Is that what she says about herself? I don't know, but that's a good way to put it. I don't really talk to her. But so. she's, she's the one that... she's. I don't know, the one with black hair and glasses, um, she's more quiet, and demeanor, or whatever, you know, quiet demeanor, that's mm -hmm. the word I'm just gonna use because that's what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> and, um, like, she's always carrying around a book or something, trying mm -hmm. to pretend she's mysterious or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, she's more immature than the other one, but the other one's more out loud about everything, You're like, ah, oh, you hate me, I'm excited all the fucking time. Yes. The one with ponytail, the yes. brown hair, yes. she's the one that's always inside, the other one's like, I'm dark and mysterious and I'm gothic or something. Kind of. You're on the right track. Right? Yes. <laughs> and, um, um, will you move, bitch? <laughs> Me? Oh. Yeah. Uh, you move the energy. It's gone. I'm, just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I really don't know. But, uh, I'm just kidding. Um, you have a brother too? Mm hmm. Okay, and he's a douchebag crappy guy. Mm -hmm. And he, he surfs. He's at the ocean or something like that. Something uh, like that. No, he has surfed though. He has surfed. Uh, That's what I'm saying is where he's like this. Yes. I am a preppy fucking loser, which is just you know what I mean. He's a nice guy, but yes, it is. I'm just I don't know. I'm just I'm just making fun of everyone in the world. No, just give no, me the personality good. that I'm getting right that day. You know what I mean? Right, right. I don't know them. I don't know them. Right. Watch this. I don't know them. Right. I don't know. Um. Does well, what well, does your sister have a a, a daughter or just take yes. She does? Uh -huh. Who's the one with the black hair? Yep. Yeah, she has a daughter. And, um... Uh, and one of them has a Jeep or something like that. Like a black Jeep. Mm -hmm. I'm right? Mm -hmm. Which one is it? The black hair one? The niece. The niece has the black Jeep? Because mm -hmm. the, the niece is with the black hair. I'm right? that in my car tomorrow. Okay, that's what <laughs> I was about to tell you something like that. And your car is like red or something? No. Okay, well... Um, something about a red car, I don't really know why, but that was next to the black jeep, that's all. And I'm just seeing, oh, but like, the black haired girl, uh, drives the niece's jeep? Has been doing that right now? Not sure. Okay, well I was just wondering. I was just see that happening. She has a cell phone, and I'm seeing her talk a lot to people and stuff, and the one with black hair, she's uh -huh. like trying to get a hold of those people. Or probably, I guess, the jeep, you know, sell the jeep or something? Right. And, um, two older siblings, I don't know, is that why your brother's older than you? Mm -hmm. And then the, and then the black hair girl, and the young girl is the brown hair girl. And then, I have three older siblings. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. No, tell me. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, you just said That's okay, though. Cause like, that's kinda like cheating. Cause like, I'll get one, like, get one at a time you now. Yes, yes. You know, and somehow they'll just pop up and I'll be like, oh, here's an extra person. And then right. that'll be fun to know and read to. Right. But, um, one of them's far, the, basically, uh, I don't know if they're all spread it out of the world. Someone's from something that starts with an N. Nevada, North Carolina, what is it? It starts with an N? Where they're at? Never mind. That's what I'm supposed to uh, But I'm getting right. I can see things. You're getting some things, yes. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, birds, blah, blah, blah. Um, 
like the black haired girl said something has she ever said, I don't want to give birth to another human being again. I'm pretty sure. Isn't <laughs> 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 that funny? Well I don't know. Stay on the dash show. Okay, anyways, whatever. Back to the writing. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't like these lights. It's too bright. Yeah, it's like gonna kill me. Right. Okay. Does she have to go to the doctor? The black haired girl a lot. She has MPD SD too or something. Is that what she has? But she has to go to the doctor for something like she's anemic and stuff. I don't know. Now she's been going to the doctor. You don't know. I don't know. Okay. Or maybe she's have a contract. Is she a Virgo? What's her sign? The black hair girl, it's her astrology sign. I don't know that. Fine then. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um. She, one of y'all used to be a cook. That's all I know. I think I know. Is that true or false? I don't know. That you don't either. know if one of y'all is a cook or not? They could have been a cook before, but not right now. Oh well, whatever. Oh, actually, my uh, middle sister from my mom's. She okay. is. I haven't seen her yet. But she's a, uh... She has, like, blonde knuckle yes, hair. Yes, But it's dark blonde. Yes. Dark sandy blonde. Mm -hmm. And it's just like the black haired girl's hair. They fix it the same way, same length and everything. Yeah. Long, right here. Yeah. They look, they fix it the same way. They kind of look alike, besides she doesn't wear glasses. Yeah. And her, her eyes, the one with the sandy blonde hair, is kind of like lighter brown eyes. No. Oh, what color do I have? It's bluish green. Changes. Bluish green? Well, then, maybe that's what I'm saying. It just changes. Like yeah. a hazel color, though? Yeah. Is what I'm seeing at this time. I haven't seen it change yet. But she's more paler and everything. Yes. And uh and the black hair girl is a little bit more skinnier. And the and the blonde hair girl is a little bit more bigger. Mm. A little bit of bigger bone. Oh, reverse. But they oh reverse will screw it. Mm, you're good, no pressure. But I got I got Hey, something. you're getting more than what most people can get, that's for damn sure. At least I'm getting stuck. Yes. <laughs> you have to practice make perfect. Yeah, that's how it goes. You exercise it, doesn't mean it's gonna get no. Bomb.com it is. Re sure. You restart on everyone. You start from scratch from everyone because everyone's just there. They restart everything. Right. No matter how I seen Jesus or whatever, I still gotta restart all over yeah. the next person. Start all over. Mm -hmm. And then it'll get bigger and better and better. And during the reading, even if I pick up, pick up little scraps of bullshit and boring stuff, right. at least it's working. Right. And then spirits can come around and actually freaking talk. Right. <laughs> and actually get more somewhere if everybody gives me a chance. Or themselves a chance. Losers. It's always like a dead end every time, sometimes. You know what I mean? It's like, right when I can do it, the fucking angel's right there, you know? Blah, blah. It's like, oh, I gotta go do something else. Like, what? Nothing, bitch. Nothing better. You're a fucking dead end bitch, right? Yeah, it's back to the break thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which lasts seven minutes already. Okay, um. I don't know. I lost it at the. And, uh. Who's your mother? Heavyweight or something? Mm hmm. Uh, well, somebody's heavyweight. I don't know whose mom it was. Maybe it's the same new blonde girl's mom. Same mom. Oh, yeah, same mom. Well, does she live with somebody's heavyweight or something? She might. I don't know. She I don't know. Well, screw it. Damn it. I know. I'm not going to so do I'm so sorry. Confused. Well, I don't know who that is, then. Maybe it's just my imagination. I'm not clue. Right. But, um, she has the same nose as you. I'm not sure. Like, your sister's the hyper one? The uh, ponytail? Does she have the same nose as you? Or not? Sure. I don't know. I think she has a bigger nose. Yeah, I think she has like, they all have different noses. Like they have pointy, wider noses at the yeah. tip. Not that little hook thing down there, like you have the cat nose, right. you know? They don't have that. But you're, the, the, the have one has your eye shape, but a little bit more triangle-ish. Yeah. Like the same eye shape, eye color as yours. Uh -huh. The hyper one. That's what I'm thinking of seeing. And the other one, I don't know, the black haired one, I think she has like a lazy eye or something. Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, but their noses are more uh, wider in the front and little, uh, you know, square at the right. end instead of like pointing and small. Like yes. that. That's what I'm seeing. Nice. <laughs> um, do you think she's a beanbag or something? I don't really know. I don't know. I, don't know. I hope not, but like, I if I'm seeing it, then I hope I'm right. Yes, I know. <laughs> that's <you're> all. That. <laughs> but I, I know, that's something. I Cause she's just kind of like depressed. 
but she but out out with her knees she's not she doesn't mm-hmm. act like she usually does around her knees like mm-hmm. I mean around your knees around her daughter she's mm-hmm. more hyper like more it's um, all over the place yes. yeah yeah so I see that um I'm like okay I get got a purpose now <laughs> mm-hmm. this is funny when she sees me uh she missed you something or misplaced something i don't know i'm getting confused what is it i don't know it's a matter yet but i'm just going back to the jeep i guess um whatever um um are you wanting to get a tattoo or something i'm looking forward if it happens okay <laughs> i don't know something about thoughts that Probably no clue. But would you want one right here or some bullshit? Someone told me that my dad did a tattoo right there. Someone told you that your dad but did? I think they were alone, no. Your dad had a tattoo? No, everybody was... Uh, one dude told me that his dad, that my dad did a tattoo right here. I mean, and I was wanting to take a picture of it, but everybody was saying that uh, he was lying about it, so I'm not sure. Who was lying? The guy that said my dad did the tattoo. Oh, well, I don't know why. But oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's the only thing that came to my mind. Or if it was alright. I don't know. Yes. I have no clue. Um. No pressure. I'm doing this. Groove. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. I'm gone. I don't know, but I don't know yet. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to get back to where I was. Uh. I mean, that girl, she's too hyper to sit there and just stare at her and read. I'd rather read the girl with the black hair, because <laughs> she's more serious or something. But then again, I don't know. I like the depressing people. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. then you get more stuff off them, and they need help. So you like want to point out what needs help. And it's more psychic over there, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, this, you go to the guy who's surfing and all this, hey, I got this like big persona. <laughs> I don't really know. It's, Whatever it is, I'm a douchebag. <laughs> Being mean. Um, <laughs> because there's nothing really. I mean, it's held there, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, your turn to add your stuff off me, pretend. <laughs> Say what you see with your mind, and that's all. I don't even want to stare at you in your eyes and you're a Scorpio. That's how they intimidate people, even though they don't know that they're doing it unless they do Am know. I intimidating you? I'm sorry. All Scorpios are intimidated because they have a stinger and it's like right there. Do they have a what? <laughs> a stinger. You know what I mean? They're poisonous. Sorry. They have the ability to be poisonous. Or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Sure. But I don't have to stare at you to read you. You know what I mean? I'm just yeah. I'm staring at this okay. fucking invisible bullshit. And that's okay. where I'm seeing all this stuff coming from you. Okay. Isn't that funny? Mm-hmm. Like a Pisces, I'm only out here. I'm out of my mind. Mm-hmm. But in my mind. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so that's how you're done. But I did it. But I'm not done. That's I mean, like I, a light. Oh, really? How cute. But <laughs> it's... Sparking. Oh, really? Yes. Like it, like it could definitely overpower a lot of fucking darkness if it, like, put all of its energy into focus. Hmm. Ruby? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. That'd be nice to know, but it's not like what like you're saying. Say what I'm you not saying. bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> either way, it'd be good to know. It'd be good something to, to motivate me to think about it. Like, I got the power. I'm Power Rangers. I'm Power Puff. Mm-hmm. You're Better Puff and I'm Blossom and you're mad about it. Ah. According to my astrology analysis on all the signs and the Power Puff you know girls what? three. I'm so happy about myself right now. Great. I'm excited. Static. It's like the best I've ever felt about myself, really. I'm so glad. Okay. I'm gonna go to the next chapter. <laughs> Let's go. Go again. What? Uh, <laughs> What's that question again? Do you feel love right now a lot? Fuck no. <laughs> no. Yeah. But that was one thing that I think just just a minute ago, like when uh, you told me to do it again. Yeah. It was just like love. Love. Do I feel like love? You, either you 
need love or like Oh, doesn't everyone need love? We all need love. I'd love to get love. But some of us need love more than others. Oh, um, is it needed? Is it required? I don't know. But light, uh, you're still living in it. <laughs> yeah. But yes, I don't know. It's a sad thing. Am I? And then it makes me question, am I lacking love? Like, probably. Like, who knows? I'm malnourished of it. But love maybe, is Maybe, or not. Or maybe, what? Love is your life, though. Love is your life. It most likely probably is. Because that's what I thought Jesus was when I saw him. Like, he's, like, just a love child. And he's more with supernatural light. It's obviously. all. Jesus is in all of us, man. It's all in our head. It's all in our Well, we're a part, part of the of light. Yes. And he's the good Samaritan of all the right. lights. And he will protect himself, which is us and right. the light. And if you're a dark, it just gets cast away. Yeah. It's sad. Doesn't mean that they can help at the dark. Ends. But we just have dark and light in us both that Maybe. we have to... I get it. Unless it mm -hmm. can get casted away by that light, maybe. Yes. I'm not sure. For sure. For sure. I don't know. We don't have to figure it all out. I mean, at least we have some light that the Jesus will come back for us with that. Yes. If he does. But or other, are the light beings, other people who, with the light, whatever, the spirits that will come be good Samaritans and surround us so we can focus on that and live in that existence instead of be destroyed by the dirt. Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> Grimmies and nice. Um, about to the right aim. Um, you had to pass your exam. Did you go to college or some bullshit? Did you? Did you? I did, but I didn't. Pass your exams? <laughs> You didn't pass your exams? Or you did? Something about exams. I don't know. A word. Terrible at exams. Are you? Yes. Well, you have to pass your exams. I need to pass my exams. Not that you have to. It's just something no, about no, someone probably no. said that or something. You're good. I feel that. When you said that, I feel that. I don't know. Would you want to? Have We're to? We're on that exam. We're on a test of life. Probably. Toodles. <laughs> True. Maybe. Um. I don't know what's going on with y'all. Else is new. I don't know. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Next. What I picked up on is that you had two brothers, younger brothers, and that you got. Um, what was the first thing I picked up on you? Oh, that you were, you were fourteen, and stuff happened to you. Yeah. And, um, your grand okay, you got inheritance from your grandma, and she has white hair. Did she have white hair at the time? Yeah, she did. She had white hair, and, um, and, um, inheritance from your grandma, and she smoked cigarettes too? No. Okay, well, you were smoking a cigarette, and I had to get like me up. Um, your grandma, and, um, uh, I don't know. You lost your tooth. You, uh, something. Okay, hold on. Something about your teeth. Um, your grandma had dentures too. You just, I don't really know what's going on with your teeth. It said you lost your tooth or something about with your grandma. Something about you lost your tooth with your grandma. And um, was that right? Something about your grandma. No, nothing about your grandma losing your tooth. Okay, then I'm screwed up. But I got that you got inheritance from your grandma. How many people get an inheritance from their grandma? Not everyone. And that you had two little brothers. And that, um, yeah, 14, you were sexually active or something. And then, um, I don't know. Uh, anything about getting hit by a bus or who you used to drive a bus? Then I'm wrong. I don't know. That's one psychic hit. Do you have a sister? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but I just know you got a sister. That's it. <laughs> that's probably one psychic hit, and that's all it ever will be. Maybe. Who knows? <sighs> so you're the little brother? She's yes. Your, she's your big sister. Okay. Um. But she got your sister. That's about fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I guess. I can't find out what she'll... Um... Did you used to have really long hair? No. Does she have really long hair? Does she look just like My you? My sister? Does she look just like you with glasses? With long hair? Mmm. Mmm. Does she have glasses? She has glasses, yes. Does she have long hair like your your color hair? Yes. 
She has long hair, like your color. And she kind of looks like you, though. I guess. I really can't. I mean. You can't tell, say that? Okay. I mean, I just can't. I mean, to me, no, but uh, others say kinda, and some say hell no, so I just... Oh, really? Like, her nose is uh, different from yours, though. Yours is more like a round nose, and hers is more pointy. Oh, mine's fixed, but yeah. Oh, you got it fixed? But yeah. So hers is more pin pointy? Yeah. Okay. You didn't have to tell me that. I should tell you, because you're not supposed to tell psychic like, anything. You just say yes or no. Because, oh, okay. like, the more you cheat, the more less things I get to pick up off you. Oh, okay. You know okay, what I mean? Because okay. your life could be filled with, like... You are just a person who works in a factory every fucking day, and there's nothing left to read. You know what I mean? It's a dead oh, end. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stuff like that. Okay. Am I crazy? Mm. And annoying. <laughs> but like, okay, so chandeliers. It is the Renaissance. Mm -hmm. Try to say what you see with me, then, without thinking. So you just like you just focus on the person, and then something will pop up, and it, just an image. Just, just a little flash, and sometimes it will come and come, and then it'll be like you'll know that it's actually happening, like a big old bubble or something. Just anything. It just really it can happen so many different ways. You know what I mean? Okay. So just say what you see, no matter what it is. So just like any question, like like. Yeah, just say what you see. Like if you saw a yellow giraffe, there you go, or a green one. You know what I mean? Just. Anything that sounds like ridiculous, it could be something that has attached to me. Mm. That's what you do. It's like charades. Oh. And then it starts being clearer and clearer, and you get more and more and sharper and sharper, but it starts from scratch from everybody. Oh, okay. But it works, and spirits come because they know that you're listening. So the only part thing that they're going to talk to is the one that's listening. Spirits are only talking to people who are listening spiritually when they're going to stretch your ears. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's how you play, especially as a Pisces. If you're not doing it as a Pisces and putting no effort to it, you're gonna just like miss out. That's all of our natural senses. Hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's the story of, and that's the glory of. Um, yeah. So you just guess if you can't do anything, if you don't know, because it's start from scratch, you don't know how you're gonna get it there. But, like, eventually, you will be on a little surfing thing, and you'll see what's going on, you'll be in a roll, you know, like surfing, kind of. Surfing your mind through the person. That's how it works. It's just how it goes. Okay. And it freaking, you get somewhere, and you can last for hours. Everything will be right, 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 on a fucking roll. And it wasn't a waste of time trying to get there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. developing... The, the reading, like, you know, like, surgery, you've got to be very careful with doing stitches. You can't just be like, oh, demand me, I fucking want stitches now, I want you to fucking see my dead relatives right fucking now. Well, let me fucking see right now, retard. You know, like, let me just get there first, let me mm -hmm. get in there, like, demanding, like, everything, but he thinks it's Santa Claus. It's not fucking Santa Claus. So dumb how people are. Plus, it's like a process. It's like, what the fuck? You kidding me? No, it's it's not what you think. It, it, it's but it can happen that way. It can, it can get there. Or it could sometimes it'd be like right, right away. I'll be picking up on the spirit because they might be around you and it might be you know accessible. Be like wow, awesome. Because nobody ever has angels around them. Everyone's a fucking loner. They ain't got shit around them. They're on their own. Sometimes they'll have something come up, or it will be brung up through them. Because they were alive in your aura, and they can be pulled out. <clears throat> You're the vortex that your whole life. And then when you die, everyone wants to experience it. You know, they want to be consuming the light, because we're all blobs of fucking light. And then we get each other's experience through each other. And that, that's like, like you're, you're the television to their life. Oh. They're amused. You're I like that reference. We're entertaining angels. We're whatever, you know. And yeah, and angels are real. And demons are real. Fairies are real. Aliens are real. People's dead relatives. And animal spirits are real. And animals have told me their astrology signs. And it got confirmed by the people who are living. So, like, oh, how the fuck did they know that? I don't know, but they sure as fuck do. And it gets confirmed that it's real irrelevant. And the cusp signs are relevant. Like, I'm a Pisces and the cusp of Aquarius. 
people will say, like most Aquarius spirits will tell me their sign, and Aquarius is real astrology. They're the ones that discovered it. Most Aquarius spirits just tell me their signs with some motherfucking Aquarius, because they're not stupid. They want to be aware and knowing everything. They're really good at telepathic and talking. Not all spirits know how to telepathic talk very well. Some, they're just as dumb as they were when they were alive. If you didn't learn nothing when you were alive, you fuck flunked at school, and now you have nothing to bring with you to the other side. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. So bring what you can to the other side, all the information you can, and you'll have it. And it's like, you're a new body. Your body just, you know, it's it's developing, it's, it's, it's in time. Your spirit knows everything. When you tap into spirit, you'll get to know what it knows. Because it has no time. No past, no present, no future. Without your past, there's no future. There's no future without your past and all that bullshit. Yeah, but we're in this little time capsule, and we're recording everything with it. And that's the story of that story. Of love. Basically, I guess that's how I explain it. That's how I see it. And then you have to stay in the light and do the rest you can. You can be a fucking douchebag loser, but you'll still be in the light. Because, and then the good Samaritans of light will protect you with their light because it's protecting itself. Like Jesus is like the supernatural light. And um, he can cast away the demon dark energies that give you headaches. So they're just fucking pollution. That's all they are. They're just basically entities, beings that are like just dark void of light, of love, if you want to work with them, then you're just going to be away from all the people who are of light and of these earthlings. I mean, we're just simple earthlings with light. And wouldn't that be annoying? Like, if, what if a demon says, I can make you powerful, what would you do? If a demon were to tell me that? Yeah. Well, first of all, you don't fuck with demons. Yeah, you don't. So, what would you do if a demon said that to you? I don't know. That's when you start praying and that's when you just... Yeah. I mean, I've seen enough scary movies where you make a deal with the devil and next yeah. thing you know, you're getting pitched for fucked by him exactly. in hell for the rest of your life. There you go. You can't so, trust the no. demon. Yeah, that's right. Say no. What would you do if an angel was trying to give you this ball of light They just held it out for you? And then, like, there's this girl with you that says, I see these angels all the time and I, I accept their gifts all the time. Take it if you want. What would you do? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I, 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 at that moment, I try to figure out and see if this is actual an angel and not some sort of yeah. demon playing exactly. disguise. Exactly. Good answer. You're not an idiot. Uh, there you go. I ask these questions to everybody. Everyone. I mean, I can, I can see people... Because I've been in these situations. When I said no to everybody, those motherfuckers. I said, what the fuck is it? What is it going to do? Uh -huh. And the girl was like, I accept those gifts all the time. Well, that's you, bitch. Why don't you accept it and see what happens? And then, like, she did. And a ball of light went through her mouth and um, lit up her eyes. And then I saw her higher self or whatever. And it was dressed in riches. But her, you know, physical body is dressed in rags. But you know what? Who knows if her riches of the spirit and that light is going to chain her to that fucking thing, and it could be a demon fallen angel. Who the fuck knows? I don't know. Could be anything. Could be a curse. I don't know. I cannot trust it, because once it d disappears, you don't know what you were stuck with that it gave you. Like, you're, like, carrying around. You fucking parasite. Hello? You know what I mean? That's yeah. just, you know, what I want. But, whatever. You know, so good job. So there you go. Those good answers. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of scary movies and spiritual shit where it's a uh, angel, but yeah. next thing you know, that angel turns into some sort of demon, demon yeah. and Cthulhu, disguising it, it is, and... disguising itself as the light, but yeah. it's really a so demon. Like, yeah, so you no. never can trust fucking anything. You really so can. so good job. So there's your little test, Amoni. Um, so um yeah, that makes sense. Um. Do you work? Do you drive a go kart? <laughs> no. Well, I'm just saying what I see. I don't know. That's what you have to say with me. Say what you see. Say what you see. Maybe because I'm so tired that I, I I'm like. It don't matter. You can be tired, blanked out, depressed, so stressed out, but your senses can still be psychic. I mean, you don't have to pretend. I'm so positive. <laughs> Get your negative energy away from me. It's it's uh, fuck you. You you can do it. Just like you have to do it. It's like, if you're gonna, you can't just say, I can't swim right now when I'm, I fell off the Titanic. I don't feel like it. Well, you're gonna fucking do it to survive. Just like your psychic abilities, you have to make them survive. So you can do it no matter what mood you're in. 
I've done it so burnt out before. And then I picked up on some shit, some awesome shit from this Virgo do, because they're pretty readable. I picked up on so many things from them, like an animal. So me, he's an Aquarius. His name is Michael, and his nephew calls him Michael Jackson, and all kinds of good shit. And that his past lives and shit with the Virgo owner. And I got to see all those breeds and what they looked like and shit. Hello, got confirmed, and that he lived in a trailer park. And then he had a fucking two birds, okay? And the birds told me where they came from. They came from a fucking lunchroom. That was a homeless shelter. Wow, who the fuck puts those nasty, shitty birds around food? Well, this shelter did. And that dog, Michael, who's an Aquarius, he told me it's Aquarius. And I asked the jerk, and I was like, well, Mr. Virgo, he told me it's a strong sign. Like, I wonder for sure if you're lying to me or not. It's like, when is that dog's birthday? He's like, February 12th. I'm like, yeah, that's Aquarius. Just like Abraham Lincoln, but... It, and he's a moon and a Capricorn, but that doesn't mean the dog's moon and Capricorn. That sure as fuck means that that dog was Aquarius, like he told me. So that's your confirmation right there, you know, that there's no lie. You know, I'm making sure this person's not lying to me, that I'm seeing stuff. Sometimes I don't know, but sometimes I do know. I'm like, oh, I know it. this is something. So just tell me yes or no. I can't wait for you to tell me yes if, if, if I think I'm really on a roll because it can happen and it has been. You know what I mean? You just start from scratch from everybody and you can look like a fucking idiot that you don't need. You look like it's someone you're not, you look like you're not psychic, you're not working, bye! Like, okay, fuck you judging book, bit book of my character in my book, you know? Like, fuck you, you just missed out anyways because you didn't let it try, you didn't give a chance, you know? It's just ridiculous, you know what I mean? Because you can get somewhere, you know what I mean? That's how that goes. Whatever. Rejection, rejection, rejection. Whatever, ditch. Stupidity. That's funny. <laughs> it's just like a movie. Yeah, follow the morals of the movies, bitch. And that's what's good. That's how that works, I guess, I suppose. So, 14 minutes. Um, blank, blank, blank. Okay, um... I have no clue. I guess I'll just go. No, no, no. Let's go. Three what? questions. One clip each. Okay. Okay, this is one question. Chandeliers. It is the Renaissance. Okay. Um, so, I seen your sister looks like her bangs are right here in brown. And she has darker eyes than you and you have blue eyes. And her eyes are like darker, but you said they were hazel, you say? Your sisters that I picked up on. So, I'm right about you had that type of match, what I said, kind of, you know? But, so far, I don't know anything else about her personality or what her car is. But I have done that. <laughs> okay. Is she a Gemini? What's her Charlotte sign? Mm -hmm. What's her birthday? December 13th. I'm wrong. She's a Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> but, like, they're players with each other. Sagittarius. Hmm. Okay. Back to picking up on what? I have two sisters. Okay, so I haven't seen the other one yet. Don't tell me, because I'll yeah. tell you. Because then, like, I, that's what I do. I'll go one by one. Sometimes I'll have, like, seven things to look at, but I want to do it one by one, because it's, it's hard okay. for me to do. Yeah. I will hold on to each thing if it's in, it comes to me or whatever. I don't know. Remember, remember, memory. No matter, like, if you've ever seen an angel, you, you have to remember everything that you did with them. It's up to you only. You know what I mean? So I have to, like, record what I need to do so I can remember what I picked up on because it's a miracle <laughs> in my life and in others. You know what I'm saying? Pretty cool. <laughs> can turn into that, you know, farther. I mean, it's pretty true. Okay. Um, that's fun. I have no clue because you're supposed to have dead parents. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Well, so I don't know what your cry on is, and if you have no problem with healing yourself in that part, particularly that's not astrology sign, you might not have no challenges with it. But like, uh, like if it was in Cancer, that would be like family and stuff and home. So like, that's the mother, and you feel like like don't you lose that. You have other mother. Okay, well, I'll have to find out. You have to other motherly figures. <laughs> I don't know. Your father. I want to see if I can tell what he looks like, okay? Because you don't tell me nothing. <laughs> um, well, don't you have a grandfather that looks like your dad, too? 
You don't know anything? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to guess because, but being psychic is not just guessing. <laughs> it's not. But it's trying to guess how to explain what it sees. I see if I if I'm gonna tell you about it. <sighs> what a cool mirror. That's groovy. Okay. So. Okay. Taking a break. Next clip, I'll try to be psycher. What? The next clip, I'm gonna be psychic. I don't wanna stop. I like, like, messed my, my train of getting on a roll of seeing things through you, cause it's only just your sister, and it feels like it's like a dead end after that. I can't see anything else. That's not cool. I wanna see everything else. Okay, so, you, I don't know, so what about your dad? Does he look like his gray hair and stuff, or what? Do you get to be that old? You don't know? Your dad adopted? <laughs> <laughs> no, my mother raised me. Um, we do look alike. We look just alike. Yeah, your dad. Mm -hmm. That'd be astrology because your tenth house is in Leo, and your Saturn's in Leo. That would be your father, but your dad's not a Leo. What's his sign? Do you know? <laughs> mm, no, I don't actually. You don't know? Mm. Okay, cool. I don't know his birthday. What about your mom? Is she and she's? Did they die? Scorpio. Oh my God, you're Scorpio rising, so you'll look at your mom too. Think so? Cool. That's fun. Let's go. Three what? questions. One clip each. Okay. Okay, this is one question, okay? Um, what... What would you do if a spirit came to you with a box and said, Take it, take it, take it, and they look like, like a tweaker, like they're desperate to give it to you. And then, and then, what would you do? Would you take the box? No. no. Okay, so, that's good. Um, I wouldn't either, because I was like, get the fuck away from me, you know what I mean? And get out. Um, no. But there was, there was cords connected to this creature that were connected to demons. Will you still take the box or not? Mm -hmm. Say no. That's right, that's good. Next question. What would you do if an, um, angel had a ball of light, and it was willing to give it to you, and it's a guy with blonde hair and blue eyes. And he's an angel that's around this Libra girl in your car, then there's five, there's five girl angels on this side, and then there's a male angel right here, okay? Like, facing you. Um, and then there's a angel over here, and an Indian. What would you do in this situation? The angel was there, and the Libra's, the person that's human, with black, long hair, tells you that she sees these angels too, Okay. And the Indian spirit and everything. And actually confirms that uh, the stuff that you say is true about what colors this the, the, the Indian person was wearing. And, like, you know, confirmation. <laughs> but anyway, what would you do? Would you take the ball of light from the angel or not? What would you say to him? You wouldn't them? take anything. You wouldn't take anything. Mm -hmm. And how come? What would you do if that situation, when it wants to give it to you, you have your pressure... You, what you're gonna do about that? You're gonna ignore the motherfucker? Cause mm -hmm. you can't. It's still there. The angel. And it wants to give you a small light. What did you say to it? Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Okay, so you're gonna be uncompassionate about their problem that they might give mm -hmm. you. Cause you know what? What if the labor said, Oh, I accept those gifts all the time. So, we can take it? Just accept it. The Libra, you know, it's physical. Mm -hmm. That you see angels around. That she sees herself too. Confirmation, okay? So what would you do then? You still wouldn't take it the ball of light? Because she's like living in this world I mean, that she lives in. in what's the ball of light going to do for me? I mean, to be close you know? to angels? Right, well, what would it do is what you're asking. I mean, what, yeah, well, you want to ask the angel that? Well, what if the angel can't answer that, but God only tells you what angel's going to see, and you have to listen to your mind to hear them. And if they don't t tell you, like, they didn't give you an answer, their message is not because of your question. They're not a genie, but they could be, because they're the master of God, you know? But they're not going to tell you what you want to hear. Maybe, I mean, it's what you need to hear. But, um, that's what I'm saying. Okay, what would you do this time? What are you saying? The third, the third question is the last question. Hey, what would you do if the demon says, I can make you powerful? What would you say? I don't need to be powerful. Good for you. Great. And you're a Scorpio rising, your Pisces, and your moon is in Virgo. And the, okay, anyways, that's great. 
So I said no to all them too. You know, that's what I would do. That you did a good job. This, like, like in you know the different story of Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Would you eat and taste everything that they have that you can enjoy where where they created that place mm, for you to disgusting. get the golden ticket to? The golden ticket. You got the golden ticket to go over there. Yeah, I think I want to indulge in the freaking gummy bear mm. that I'm not, if I'm not allergic to it, that's huge. I want to try to see what that tastes like. <laughs> and you know what I mean? You like, I don't want to read. Okay, that's, that's a good job. Good uh, thing. So, how many more tests I got? That's it.